Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low-budget wonder. Now check this out. Start with six sliced Roma tomatoes and load them into your blender. Next, we're going to chop an entire onion. I find that cutting everything in sections makes it easier for the blender to digest. Now grab a handful of cilantro. Don't worry about cutting this up, the blender will take care of it. Now I've got two yellow peppers, I just cut the ends off. If you don't have these, just use a regular bell pepper and use about half of it. Now this jalapeno pepper is pretty hot, so I'm only going to use half of it. And the seeds add an extra kick too, but I know that's going to be too much for my girls to enjoy. So I'm going to go ahead and take those out. And without running my fingers through it, I'll just take the blade sideways like this. And then give it a quick rinse in the sink. And I have a clean half jalapeno pepper. I'm going to add two garlic cloves to the mix. Very important, don't leave those out. Now I've got a lime I'm going to squeeze in there. Not just half the lime. Go ahead and use the whole thing. Get as much juice as you can squeeze out of these things. And now for our dry ingredients. This is Noor's Chicken Bouillon. Next I'm going to add some cumin. This is a real important ingredient to the flavoring. A little too much there. But you definitely want to have this in your salsa. Now some dried oregano. You always have oregano and salsa. Are you kidding me? Definitely got to put that in here. Now this is Goya. You've probably seen it on the shelf. It's a garlic powder mix seasoning. If you don't have it, just use garlic powder. No big deal. It's just a shake over the top. And here are some chipotle peppers. Obviously they're canned, but they get that smoky flavor in there. That's a definite kick. Add some heat. Like adding this juice in there. I want that smoky flavor in the salsa. But now when you blend, if you've got one of those blenders that kind of suck like mine, just go down the center with the back handle of a wooden spoon. And you can force it to move around. Just don't run it down into your blade. You're going to have some serious problems. But as you turn it on, you can stir it with the wooden spoon and just get it going until you puree your salsa. Now if you look close here, get you a close up here. You can see the texture of it is exactly the way you'd want it or expect it in a professional restaurant. Now let's pour it out so you can get a good look. See what I tell you. And there you have it. Homemade salsa right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.